Hi everyone, today I will be reviewing my Stanley Tumblr. This is the Tumblr that is ever so TikTok famous. It is in the 30 ounce size in the color Rose Quartz. This Tumblr was purchased directly from the Stanley website and it was purchased for $35. There is the larger size and I believe there is a smaller size, but the larger size is the 40 ounce size and that one is the even more popular version of this Tumblr that was made popular by TikTok. I believe also the smaller size version of this Tumblr actually does not come with the handle, so it is worth noting that the 30 ounce and the 40 ounce sizes are the only ones that have this handle. And I went for the 30 ounce size because I feel like this size is already quite large and 40 ounces is probably going to be too heavy for me especially when it's filled with liquid. So I went with this 30 ounce size and I'm pretty happy with it. I don't have to refill it too many times a day because to be honest I have multiple tumblers throughout my house that I use so this is like the perfect size for me. I'm really petite and small and I have some joint pain and arthritis in my wrist so this is working out really well for me. I think the 40 ounce size would have been too big. So just a little background as to why did I splurge on this expensive $35 tumbler and the number one reason is that this tumbler is just so cute especially in the multiple colorways that it comes in. I love that Stanley offers these beautiful pastel tones and neutral tones. They're so pretty. I mean I love this neutral color. A lot of the appliances in my home are really catered to my tastes and my aesthetic because these are things that are out on the counter. They're there that you're going to see all the time and so for me specifically, I like to look at things that make me happy. I like to see things that make me smile and are useful but are also beautiful. So that was one of the main reasons why I splurged on something so expensive for something that any other tumbler probably, probably can do the same functionality. And to be quite honest with you, I probably wouldn't have come across this tumbler if it wasn't popularized by social media. I don't even have a TikTok account and I was able to find out about this tumbler because it's just everywhere. There's articles, news articles written about this tumbler, which is where I saw it. And also to note that this is one of the rare tumblers that have a handle. A lot of the metal tumblers out there, they don't come with a handle. So that's just another thing that adds to this beautiful tumbler's functionality. Just a side note about this tumbler. Even though it's extremely popular on the internet and social media, I've never seen anyone use this out in the wild in real life, which is odd to me because it is so popular. And Maybe it's in the circles that I move in, my work, my friends, that they just don't use it. But yeah, like it's odd that it's so popular, but I've actually never seen it used by someone. So besides the fact that it's an absolutely beautiful tumbler, the major reason why I actually purchased it was because for Mother's Day, I needed gifts to find for all the moms in my life. And these tumblers, especially in these neutral tones, came back in stock on the Stanley website. And so after purchasing all my tumblers from the Stanley website, it was shipped to me. And one of the boxes that was shipped to me, I ordered three, one for myself and two as gifts. One of the boxes came by itself and I don't have that specific box right now, but it was very beat up. It literally came shipped like in a box like this. It wasn't put in another box or secured. So there was like holes in it and it was really, really beat up. And it was really disappointing because that was one of the colors that I actually wanted to give to one of the moms in my life. And I was like, I don't feel right in gifting something that's beat up. So I gave that mom the tumbler, that the color that I actually wanted and I decided to keep this rose quartz color which is the color that I didn't want. I really wanted the neutral white one. That color is so beautiful. I love white toned or neutral toned colors. A lot of the appliances in my house are kind of like a milk white or a cream color so I was like that would have been perfect to add to my home but I gave that one away because the packaging that it was in was very very beautiful and Put together. So I just want to mention the major pros of this tumbler. 
in this size specifically, the 30 ounce size. Besides its beautiful aesthetics is the handle that it comes with. Like I mentioned before, not a lot of tumblers out there come with a handle like this. And this handle has been really, really handy for me because I have really bad arthritis in my wrists and my joints are just in pain all the time. I've been working in a clinical lab for almost eight years now. And so a lot of pipetting, a lot of just constant repetitive motions have made it sort of hard to kind of hold even things that are not that heavy. Like going and get gas for me is such a struggle because you have to angle the gas pump into the car and it's got that long gas pump wire attached to it and it's like really heavy and it always just gives me stiff pain so having a handle like this just somehow makes holding this cup much more easy and especially when it gets full with water or ice it does get really heavy so having this handle for some reason is so much makes it so much more easy to hold and also the positioning of the handle is great because since it's so high it sits up very high on the tumbler you have all this space to put in your car cup holders so it will fit perfectly in your car cup holders and this handle won't get in the way and the next major pro is that this tumbler is very functional it does what it says it will do it can keep water or you know your drinks cold for many many hours i put ice in here with water overnight and it, in the morning my ice was still there it was melted a little bit but there were some ice chunks in there and it was still cold which is pretty amazing because of the fact that there is this hole that could let out and let in air you know passing through that it's always like slightly open but the fact that it can keep your drinks pretty cold without being like super airtight that's i think that's a very good plus towards this tumbler so just one other pro that i want to mention that it may or may not be a pro for you because it's very specific for me is that this tumbler in this 30 ounce size is perfect for fitting right under my fridge doors water dispenser my fridge's door has a water dispenser with a shelf and if i just push against the lever the water will dispense and so this size this height fits perfectly in there and a lot of the tumblers that i have in my house does not do that and you might think like oh what's the big deal just hold hold it you know well i mentioned before that i have really bad arthritis and because of the fact that this tumbler is quite large it takes a while for it to fill up through the fridge's water dispenser and so i'd have to hold it for a very long time and just for reference i have this tumbler here from takea which i also love but this one even though it looks like it's the same height it actually does not fit underneath my refrigerator door the reasoning being is because part of this height has, is due to the lid. So when I take the lids off and compare the height, the Takeya one, this one here, is much taller than the Stanley one. And that small little bit of difference in height actually does not allow this Takeya one to fit underneath my refrigerator door. And so the scenario is this. I need to refill my tumbler. I gotta go to the refrigerator door, push the water button, but I have to push the water button and hold my tumbler, this Takeya tumbler. And I have to hold it for a very long time because this tumbler is quite large if I want to fill all the way, right? And so I'd have to hold it for that entire time and it gets kind of, kind of annoying to hold because I'm in pain, you know. But for the Stanley Cup, because of this sizes, this 30 ounce sizes height, if it's perfectly there, I can lean up against the refrigerator door and just let it fill all the way and I don't have to hold it at all. I'm pretty sure the 40 ounce size wouldn't let me do that and if I got the 40 ounce size it would have been a problem but when I was ordering or deciding between the two sizes I already had that in mind. I was like oh I feel like the 40 ounce size might be taller and it won't fit underneath my fridge and I'm like oof then I probably wouldn't use it and so I opted for the 30 and it fit perfectly under there. So moving on to the cons of the Stanley tumbler. I don't really have that many major cons but the most I guess annoying con of this tumbler that kind of is frustrating is that depending on the way you screw the lid on this tumbler your straw is going to end up on one side or the other of this handle and you might be thinking what's the big deal 
if the straw is on one side or the other. It's a big deal because the straw is not in the center of your cup. It's to the edge, right? It's to one edge of the cup. So depending on, let's say I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna hold this cup, this tumbler, with my right hand more often to drink from. And so because this straw is more towards one side, it's more convenient for me when the straw is facing me because I'm right-handed. It would be kind of annoying if the straw was on the other side while I'm right-handed. And so, and so that's something that I have to keep notice of every time I put this lid back on because depending on the starting position of where you're screwing, this straw can end up on the other side. Let me just try it for example. So if I unscrew the lid, let me just try screwing the lid on just see where the straw ends up. So I'm gonna start here. So I just screwed the lid on completely and now I didn't really, without any thought, think about which position to start screwing the lid on and lo and behold, the straw is on the other side. So as I was demonstrating before, I'm right-handed and I want to sip from this cup, but the straw is on the other side. So just to show you, it's like not a very convenient position because the straw should be really here, right? Because I'm going to sip from this position, but it's on the other side. But this is perfect for if you're left-handed, right? Your other hand, and you can sip from this side. So the straw is right there. Trying to figure out where to start screwing the lid to get the lid on the right side, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, can be kind of annoying if you're just kind of on the go. But I feel like that's something minor that other people might not have an issue. Let's say you are right-handed. You don't have a problem with drinking your drink from this side like like here but for me I it's just it just doesn't feel right so I do try to make an effort to get the straw on the right side and I have kind of figured out a system trying to like figure out where to start screwing to get it to end up on that right side so that's just something that's kind of annoying and I did see some reviews where some people did complain about that as well so another con which I already knew going into purchasing this tumbler is that because of the straw mechanism it's always open to the elements and it can probably spill if it knocks over but for me like the con I guess of this like it's like a pro and a con is that the pro is it's all you're always ready to drink from it right and it's like always open and you can just easily drink from it but one of the cons for me is that of the fact that it is just always open and so a lot of my tumblers I like to just throw around in my house because of the fact that there is a way to enclose the tumbler's straw mechanism so now once for example in this tumbler if I just fold it like this, it's not going to spill anything. None of the liquid would fall out. And that's something that would be very portable. I could stick that in a backpack or a bag with me and go about my day. But because this doesn't have that mechanism, you're forced to always carry this with you. So if you were going to work, you have like a tote or a bag, you can't put this tumbler in there. You'd always have to carry it. And maybe that's the aesthetic part of this tumbler because it's sort of like a statement tumbler so maybe it's like you do want to carry it and kind of show it but for me i still just want to be able to dump it in a bag that i'm carrying for the day and just go about my business i kind of like my hands to be free and so that is for me just a small con con and not really because that's something that I already knew going into. Other than that, I definitely like this tumbler a lot. It is a great purchase. I like that it has this handle. All my other tumblers that I own don't have a handle like this and it fits perfectly under my fridge water dispenser and it is very convenient to use. Would I purchase this tumbler again if I lost it or if something happened to it? To be completely honest with you, I would not because of the fact that I do have so many other tumblers that are just as functional and I've had for many years that work just fine. I would not repurchase this again. It's so expensive and I feel like part of the reason why it is so, you know, it's the best tumbler out there is because it is just so popular and 
its aesthetic and all that jazz, but I don't know. It's just a very expensive tumbler. I'm glad to have one and I'm very fortunate to have found one, but wouldn't repurchase again if I lost it. Let me know your thoughts on the Stanley tumbler. What do you think? Would you purchase this again? If you own one, are you trying to purchase it and it's still out of stock? What are your pros and cons? I'd love to know. Do you have a solution for that twisting lid thing? That would be something that would help me a lot because that has to be the most frustrating part of me using the tumbler. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!